good afternoon on this beautiful Friday. Welcome to Where the Drone Leads here on Think Tech Hawaii at 4 o'clock. A little bit of a slow start at 4.13 and I'd like to introduce you folks, everyone that's here today. We have Kaimi Germano and we have Kaili Makua, right? Kaili Makua. And we have Kauhi Yim. Mahalo and Nao Pio. These are students at Kikula Kayapuni or Anui Nui, our Hawaiian Immersion School out in Palolo. And we'd like to introduce also, we have online, we have Mike Elliott from Drone Services Hawaii. Aloha, Mike, can you hear me? Hey, Aloha, how are you guys doing today? Doing great, doing great. So, moving right along, we want to uh, go ahead and talk about you folks. How are you folks doing today? You guys just finished school, right? Aye. Aye, aye. And, um, Right now, I'd like to ask you folks a few questions. Um, we just got you guys on with Anui Nui and operating uh, your folks' drones recreationally for the school and upcoming projects. So, um, Kaimi uh, wanted to ask you, Makolelo Hawaii or in Hawaiian, Nokia um, Hamamake uh, Oe Lele in drones. Why do you want to fly drones? Makia Oe Hawana Iki Omo drones. E koko e ko makola hui a e nana ma kikahi maka e ai iluna o kalani e like me na manu a he me anui kia e ike i ka makoha na no ka makola hui. Yes, yes. Oh, my ka ino, my ka ino. And can you translate that for everyone here on our show? I wanna. Um, use these drones to see our perspective of our Hawaiian culture and use it to... Um, you want to use it to... Um, using technology and bridging our culture together. Yes. Nice, that's exactly what um, everyone here on this island is uh, striving for. And um, mahalo nui for your, uh, your pane or your answer and Kauhiem, Nokia ha mama ke oe lele ina drones. Why would you want to fly drones? Well, maki maki voi ho lele ina drones na kamera. Maki maki voi iki ka honua kama kome ola maki kai ano ea e ma al ka ko iki ana me kela maki maki iki me kela. Aye, aye. And could you translate for everyone here on Think Tech Hawaii? Oh, I want to, I like... Oh. You want to use the drones yeah. to see the world, right? Yeah, I like use the drones to see the world in a different perspective. Nice. A lot of people is stuck. Let us, you want to see the world, let us. Yes. From the bird eye, bird's view. Right. And Kaui, how old are you? 13. 13 years old. <laughs> and um, moving on to Kaili Makua. Aloha. Aloha. Hey, mahalo for coming. And question for you is, o kia ha mamake o e lele ina drones? O wa make make o e lele ina drones. Nga ka mea. Aloha o e kahana viki o. So wa make make o e ho lele ka drones. So hiki ke viki o i ke kai a me ka, you know, ka u ina a. Ai. A o ka u. Na o he mana o me ka ike la kahana viki o ana kahana viki o hiki o eke pa iki iki pa iki iku ke kahi. Nice. So you plan to you have a passion for video and you you want to use drones to capture aerial footages and using it for cinema cinema cinematography. Oh, I can't even say that word right now. <laughs> but um, anyway, moving forward, mahalo nui a oko pakai no ke kipa mayana i Think Tech Hawaii. Thank you so much for coming. And right now, we would like to move it over. Prime examples of having community and having our schools involved using drones. And we would like to move it over to Mike Elliott. Right now, he's out in the field, a farm field, and he's a uh, I'll give it to you, Mike. Go ahead. All right. Thank you so much. Aloha, everyone. How are you doing today? 
Hey, so uh, one of the things that uh, you know our company is working on is trying to uh, bring about the utilization of uh, drones for commercial and industrial purposes, and to kind of make you know life a better place, but also safer, uh, do a lot of these jobs easier. And in this particular case, uh, you know, we've been out at uh, some solar farms. We've been working, and uh, oh, nice. basically, it's about keeping these things up and running. So. Uh, you know, when you have panels that are down, you have strings of panels that are down that aren't working properly, then uh, yeah, you've got you've got an issue. So what I've done, um, we had flown earlier and stuff. I set up the camera, um, and uh, let me turn this turn this down real quick. Um, but what I'm going to show you is a couple of uh, just some shots, basically looking back here. I, I'll flip the camera around. Let me know when you can see the, uh, the screen properly. Yep, we can see it. We see you. Yeah, so what I, right now I'm just showing you, um, you know, what the thermal camera sees and looking at the panels themselves. And um, at the bottom here in the center, you have the inverters um, or the, um, you know, making sure the panels are actually running. But on the one on the far right, you see an area that's starting to turn into a bit of a hot spot. And, uh, you know, what we're looking for out here on these, on these solar farms is trying to find the hot spots, trying to find the panels that are bad or strings of panels that aren't working. And the drone actually allows us to look over a huge area really quick and support the folks that are trying to maintain these uh, solar farms, which once again, is bringing clean energy here to Hawaii. So you know, maximizing their ability and using technology to do it. Great, Mike. Uh, will you be able to uh, operate right now or are we... What's that? Are you able to operate right now? Do you have uh, uh we're we're uh, wrapping up. We were gonna try to do uh, uh, live stream on YouTube, and I think uh, just where we're at, the signal's a little bit weak uh, to be able to do that right now today. Okay. But um, yeah, yeah we no can definitely uh, share some examples in the future if you guys want to come by and, uh, and talk to us. But these are the kind of jobs that the youth of Hawaii yes. are gonna have available to them, getting out there in the field and supporting companies that are. You know, putting solar, getting out there doing inspections, uh, survey work, construction, mapping. Uh, these systems make it really easy and they're extremely accurate. And, uh, you know, it's, it's wide open for the youth of Hawaii for the future. This is absolutely great, Mike. We, we have our students here and they're seeing you out there in the field. They're having a perspective of it. what exactly is uh, upcoming for their future and um, exactly what they're thinking and imagining and now they have this opportunity especially here in Hawaii our home and uh, pretty real exciting stuff this is the history in the making definitely uh, well definitely and you're helping to lead the way too and uh, you know I think uh, one of the things that uh, my partner uh, and, and my my wife also my other partner George Purdy and my wife Ellen have talked about is that uh, you know, in the immersion schools and stuff that uh, George has been working on, you're breathing life into the Hawaiian language by creating new words. Yes. And that perpetuates the language. And uh, so I applaud you guys for, uh, you know, continuing to look to develop uh, new words to describe new technology as you venture out to the future. Uh, I'm glad you brought that up, Mike. Um, in fact, I want to turn it back to you, um, our OPO or our students here and um Makololo Hawaii or in the Hawaiian language what do you think would be the appropriate word for the word drone or unmanned aircraft <laughs> you think about it you have uh you have a uh, unmanned or kane kane ole right or mikini it's a machine it's a um Honestly, you guys can create the word right here on Think Tech Hawaii if it comes to your lolo or oh. to your brain right now. <laughs> Mikini. Mikini. Mikini ho'olele pa'ivikio. Ho'olele pa'ivikio. Wow. Mikini. We are writing it down right now. Mikini. Ho'olele pa'ivikio. Ho'olele. So can you, yeah, can you please translate each one, Mikini Ho'olele Pa'ivikio. So Mikini is 
machine. Uh, machine. Yes. All it is fly and the drone takes pictures and videos. Vikio. Yeah. So putty Vikio. Yeah. So you folks just created the first word <laughs> for the word drone or unmanned aircraft. Mikini ho olele pa ivikio. We're going to put that in the pukeve vehe. Hikino, hikino. Hikino, we're going to put that in the Hawaiian dictionary. Thank you, there Mike, you for that. Yeah, and thank you, too, for, uh, you know, just encouraging the, um, you know, like I said, the immersion schools and what they do and keeping the language alive um, and, and by, like I said, creating new words and a new industry. Uh, it just perpetuates the language uh, for future generations. So thank you. Mahalo. Um, we have uh, Kaimi, Kaimi Dramano just explain about um, including getting culture and getting um, technology and bridging it together. And one particular project that these, these boys will be, these gentlemen will be uh, taking on is our Makahiki season. And at the school, what they do is, um, in the time of peace with our, within our Hawaiian culture, we have our ceremonies. And um, can you guys explain what, what do you guys plan on doing with the drones and um, what Pookumu land would, would like you folks to do? Uh, we're just trying to take videos in a different point of view. Mm -hmm. um, you know, our school has a Facebook now, uh, including to Pokumu, Pokumu here. So he wants us to operate the drones. And what is what is the name of the Facebook page? I don't really know yet. Is it on uh, Kolokai Punyo Anrenue? I think so. Just try to look under there. Anrenue? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. And um, there's a. Every Friday from December 2nd is what we agreed we'll be coming down to you folks and we'll be having you folks um, for two hours operate on campus, mm -hmm. recreationally learning and operating fundamentals of uh, basic flying using our Mikini Ho'olele Pa'i Vikio. Wow. Hikino. Hikino? Hikino. Yeah, yes we can, yes we can. Can do, can do. And um, moving forward, we would like, Mike, are you still there? My oh, well. Uh, you know, for the type of work that, uh, you know, we're out here doing, like I said, at the solar farm. So, you know, when you look at the panels, you look at them, you can't see anything that they're not working. Uh, the only way to tell is through a thermal image. And currently, uh, a lot of companies will walk the rows of panels with a thermal camera in hand. But by flying it, you know, we cut down a day's worth of work to maybe just a couple hours, if that, uh, being able to inspect, you know, entire strings of panels. No kidding, that is amazing. Do you folks see this right now? This is definitely the future. <laughs> I actually have solar panels on my house. Oh, oh. Yeah. So you can tell how effective solar panels are yes. and now using drones to monitor and inspect and f determining right hot spots. Right, right Mike? Yeah. And, uh, so it's, uh, you know, it's the way we look at it too and uh, that we've talked to people about drones is that uh, these things are just tools. And, you know, there's, there's always the right tool for the job, and sometimes this is the right tool, you know, to um, safely and quickly um, be able to expedite a survey of such a large area of a number of panels and uh, rapidly allow someone to you know, swap them out or prevent a fire from happening. You know, if one of them went really bad and caught a fire, taking down the whole farm potentially. So you can be very proactive by using some of this technology to find problems before they become big ones. We was, thank you so much, Mike, and uh, these, these young men are looking forward to, in fact, going over to Drone Services Hawaii and purchasing their own drone. Um, we were talking through email and finding out that we can go ahead and um, through Pookumu, Pookumu, we'll be speaking with Mike and Drone Services Hawaii and uh, getting you folks a drone for your school and where you folks will be operating and um, literally having... <laughs> 
making progress using these uh, machinery or these mikini ho olele pa ivikio. I love it. I love using that word. <laughs> this is definitely the future of everything that we're doing and you folks are we in fact all of us we're all in this leading together and making and changing the world challenging the status quo so um now we move to speaking about um potential projects coming up at uh, on Renue. what uh, what other projects do you uh, folks plan on doing uh, using this Mikini Ho'olele Pati Vikio? Uh, what, what would have been great was La Kahakai, uh, Beach Day. That would have been a great day, but, you know, La Kahakai passed already. Mm -hmm. And, you know, just filming the ocean with kids, it's like a good opportunity to do. Nice. And um, Ka'imi, you have an interest in media as well. Yes. Um, could you share more about your background? Alright, well, hello, I Kekahi uh, program no Elima Makahiki. I have a program on uh, Olelo TV. Yes. I have a lot of people who are in the Kia mau makini paiki i pea ai hana i na meli ke ole me ke media. Okay, so for five years you were with Olelo Community Television and you were gaining experience in uh, videography, uh, editing, yes. and using um, the feather pack, a uh, little bit of studio work as well. Oh yeah. Oh, we can definitely have a potential student here at Think Tech Hawaii <laughs> and um, the program that um, what we have for you folks at, at Anunue with Koleo Gold and uh, using your fundamentals for operating drones this is definitely the, the beginning of a, of a new movement we are changing the world and we're starting here in Hawaii and we appreciate um, you folks coming on here and uh, having us explain and in fact develop a new word, Mikini Ho'olele Pa'ivikio. I'm definitely sure Ted Walton is gonna love this <laughs> episode this, um, uh, this day. And of course, oh, now we have Mike back on with a do you see that drone right there? Check that out. What you got back there, Mike? Yeah, so we just have uh, Inspire One with uh, DJI uh, XT FLIR camera uh, that we've been using for the uh, uh, solar inspections. And we're also trying to figure out a way to make thermal maps so that we could actually stitch together thermal images to make a large map of, of a large area. Uh, a bit challenging because of the way the thermal camera works, but uh, we're just trying to do a little bit of experimentation to see what palettes work, the different um, views that the FLIR camera works. We call it like predator vision, you know, when he's cycling through all those different uh, wavelengths trying to find Arnold Schwarzenegger, right? Well, it, the FLIR camera has some of that same type of capability, and sometimes you can see things better in one palette than you can another. And uh, we're trying some different things out here to see what works best. And uh, we want to bring that uh, forward to some other uh, potential clients. Awesome, Mike. Uh, really appreciate you um, taking the time to share with all of us your um, project out at the solar farm. Um, right now, we in the process of wrapping it up. Uh, again, thank you, Mike, for having us, uh, being with us and aloha to you and to george and to aloha. drone services hawaii and kaimi kaui kaili mahalo. hi mahalo nui thank you folks for coming today and later down the down the projects we go ahead and have your folks footage all your folks work that we um that we do from december 2nd on we go ahead and bring it back on the show and they eventually have you guys back on the show. And uh, we, we leave today with our 
new Hawaiian word drone. Mikini ho'olele pa'ivikio. Mahalo everyone for watching us and uh, see you next week Friday, 4 o'clock. Hi, I'm Jay Fidel. That's Ted Ralston. You know, Ted is the uh, host of uh, Where the Road Leads. It shows uh, every Friday from 4 to 5 p.m. It's about technology. It's about how people collaborate and, and solve problems with modern technology. It's where the road leads. We all know that. We should all be listening. Join us there, 4 to 5 p.m. every Friday. Now, what about that do you agree with? All of it. I knew he'd say that. Aloha. Say aloha. Aloha. Good.